Hello everyone, Teacup Tempest here, and today I'm going to be doing part two of this build. We are going to be putting on the roof. In part one, we built the frame, the walls, and the detail. And then in part three, I'm going to be putting together an interior and giving you a tour of how I did the interior. So you got some ideas on how to design the interior of your build. And for this, we are going to need the deep slate polished slab, polished deep slate stair, polished deep slate, the crimson stair, crimson plank, deep slate tile, the stripped warped hyphae, warped stair, and the crimson trap door. We are going to start with the polished deep slate slab, and it looks like the pattern is going to be slab, stair, stair, full block, stair, full block, stair, full block until we get to the top. So let's start with our slab and we are going to throw it apparently. <laughs> we are going to start here on the front left corner and I like to do this. So on this side here, place one, place one, and then on the front side, place one. So you have this. Let's run this all the way down. And do the same thing. Here in a minute, you'll see why. Let's move to the back side and do the same thing we did to the front side. Alright, now let's move back to the front. Let's grab our polished deep slate stair and put that there. And then do an upside down stair, a stair, upside down stair, full block, stair. And then since we have this bit here, I'm going to do a full block because it looks better than if I do an upside down stair. At least in my opinion, you can do it either way. And then do a full block on top of that. Let's move to the back side on the right and do the same thing. So stair, upside down stair, stair, upside down, full block, stair, and then full block and full block. Now let's, let's move to the left hand side of the back of the build. And let's start making our frame. So we're going to place a stair and an upside down stair on this side. We're going to do the same thing. And then let's place a stair and a stair. Upside down, upside down, block, block, stair, upside down, stair, upside down, full block stair stair upside down upside down full block full block and stair stair upside down upside down full block full block stair stair upside down stair and full block and this is what your roof it's hard to see because this build here is in the way but this is what you should have so far. You notice by doing this pattern a little bit different from how I did here where it's stair, full block, stair, stair, full block, stair, stair. We get a taller, more narrow roof. And this one's like a little bit wider. And actually just ever bit as tall. Alright, now let's take our crimson stair and on the front left hand side, let's start filling everything in with this. Let's run this all the way across and start up on the other side. I will be adding in little front window bits here, but I like to do that at the very end because it's just easier to do.
Let's take our crimson full block and run this all the way down. And then back to the stair. And then right here, let's take our full block and run that down. Grab our stair, run that down. Let's come over here and start in with our full block. And then across with the stair. And then across with a full block. And then nest that up against the window. And then across with our stair. And then we're probably going to need to take out this button. So let's go ahead and remove that for now. And then we're going to do an alternating pattern. So we're going to have a full block, slab, full block, slab, full block, slab, full block, slab, all the way down. Okay. And that's this side of the roof. Let's go ahead and put in the back side and then we will do the two little window bits and then we'll work on the tower roof. So let's do the same thing we did on that side, but on this side. And again, nestle this up against the window. Okay, there we have it. Let's move in by four. And we'll start in on this like one, two, three row. So one, two, three, four. Break the fifth. One. Yep. Two, three, four, five. And then let's go on the other side. Up bit up by the two. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four, five. And you should have a set of three stairs in between let's take our stripped or excuse me deep slate tile and let's bring this up and my rule of thumb is always to bring it up to the stair that's directly behind it and that's how you know how tall to make these or in this case let's bring it up by three yes that would be correct um if you haven't seen my first video, I am referring to a picture 
and I'm recreating a build I had done earlier in the year. We got all of those blocks. Now let's grab our crimson stair and start filling this in and then our full block as well. And then let's grab our polished deep slate stair and full block and start filling this in and then put your upside down stairs here. Let's put our stair on top of the full block and let's bring this all the way up. Let me look. So full block. So I had done it actually a little bit different in the picture and I just did stairs all the way up. But I actually really like the idea of this as well. So we're going to play with this. And then upside down. And like so. Basically, if there's a stair block directly behind this block, you may get a stair as well. So this is a full block and directly behind is the full blocks. Now let's take our crimson and start filling anything in, always breaking the block behind. Oops. That way it will do the little curve bit. And then let's fill this in, break out those two. Do that. And then we'll do our pattern. Like so. And then let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, let's go ahead and do the uh, frame and roof on this one. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Break out these blocks and the ones directly behind the pillars. And then let's start oops, filling this in. Like so. And then now let's grab our polished deep slate. Slide down the stair. Full block. Full block, stair, full block, stair, stair, upside down, stair, and full block. Let's go ahead and do our pattern. Like so. Go ahead and break those out. And then start connecting everything up. And then here, just bring it all the way back. Same with... Oops. <laughs> I hope I was using the crimson. I was busy focusing on how to properly do this and lost what I was doing here like so and this should like bend around like that okay let's grab our stripped work type and let's come in here like that and bring these up stacking on top of one another so it's all going in the same direction like so and then actually break this one do an upside down actually i don't like that so we're going to do that and an upside down stair do a right side up stair there oh i see why it's a little bit different it's because i made this roof a little bit taller than what's in the picture which is a-okay and we'll do that and you will also need the glass pane 
for these, but I did not have enough room down here to include that in the initial list. And let's repeat the same thing. We'll probably end up doing a fence with a lantern right here once we finish this up, but let's keep on going. Get daytime again. Okay, now we're going to go do the same thing we did here to the front. So let's go over by four. So the second row of stair one, two, three, four. Break the fifth, count five. One, two, three, four, five. There's going to be three here. So one, two, three. Break the fourth. One, two, three, four, five. And then you should have four remaining here at the end. Let's grab our deep slate tile and bring that up until it is in line with this stair level here which will be a count of one, two, three. Let's break all these blocks out right here. And then let's grab our crimson stair and bring that around. And let's put our plank on top. Break out these two in the middle. And then let's grab our polished deep slate stair and do a stair and upside down. Let's do our polished deep slate block. Let's come to the other side and do our crimson in, in here and let's break these two out and then let's grab our polished deep slate stair again and do the same little pattern up then let's do our stair upside down stair full block stair upside down stair full block Let's go ahead and do this other side. Let's bring our deep slate tile up to the stair level or by a count of three. Break everything in the middle out to include the ones behind the pillars. And then let's go in with our crimson. Like so. Let's now go in with the polished deep slate stair. Let's do stair, upside down stair, stair, upside down stair, full block, stair, stair, upside down, upside down, full block, full block, stair, stair, upside down, full block. And then let's fill everything in with the crimson on both of these. And then here, you just want to make sure the stair does this. And let's go in on this side. Break out those. Because you don't need them. And put in our full blocks. Let's break that. And then let's do our pattern. And then let's go over and complete this roof as well. Break those. Let's bring our stair across. And then do our pattern. Alright. Now let's go in with our stripped pork taife. Line the three and bring them up. 
making sure you stack on top of one another so it all goes in the right direction. You just want to leave one hanging out here and then upside down stair, right side up. And then let's put in our trap door like so. Let's do the same thing on this side. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the light gray glass pane as well as a warped fence and a lantern. So let's fill in the glass, put our fence and our lantern if you want. I think I actually like the crimson fence better. Oops. So I'm going to replace that with the crimson fence. Like so. This build is going to be slightly different from the one that I had in the other world, but it's also very similar to. Okay. And then let's go to the back side. And put in our glass and lantern here. Alright, let's focus on this little bit here. I want to kind of keep it simple. So let's do right side upstairs like so. And then... You can do whatever you really want to do here. You could do like this pattern to kind of match the front door. I kind of like that. So I'm going to run with that. Um, try to keep it as easy on yourself as you can. Because if you're trying to do all kinds of flippy bits and you don't have, you know, ability to fly or anything it can be kind of hard to do so let's just do that all right so i'm going to put the roof on the tower next then we'll come in and do the back side so for the tower let's first okay i did that pattern like that let me okay so have one overhanging, bring that in, and then here, come up by two, and then here, up by two, and here up by two, and then here down, down, and then like so. So you should have that kind of pattern, so I'm gonna repeat this. Slab, slab, two slabs, two slabs up to a point and then back down and then have the slabs all right so slab slab two slabs and bring those down slab slab so slab slab two slabs to a point in the middle and bring those back down all right, slab, slab, two, like so, and then back down. And this is what you should have at this point. And let me try to remember exactly what all I did. may have you so let me grab crimson slab so i think that's what i used so these blocks here you want one higher these blocks here you want one higher so go around and do these little corner bits 
if you're standing up here, this is what it'll look like, because it'd probably be the easiest way to do it. So this one, and then these two. Okay, so you see these blocks? You want to bring this up one higher. <laughs> and go ahead and fill it in as you go. And that's kind of the key to this kind of roof, is you want to build everything up one higher. And then the same thing here. Let's fill this all the way up and bring it up one higher. Now that we're at this point, we keep doing the same thing and bringing things up by one. And then here as well. And then here. Oops, messed up there. So this is what you should have so far. And let me make it daytime. All right, and then let's continue bringing everything up one higher. And so we get to this middle point. And then let's put a full block here. So you can keep it like this, or you can come in with your polished deep slate slab and do this. If you want to break this up any, this is totally optional. I just looked over and saw that I had done this in the original build, so I'm gonna do that. Honestly, could go either way with it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, and then let's grab our polished deep slate wall. And let's grab a sad lightning rod to put on top of it. There you have it. I don't know if I have a good picture of how I did the end bit, so I'm going to kind of freestyle it and make this up as I go. So let's start with our deep slate tile and bring that up. If I recall correctly, I did a um, kind of like a Tudor style. Where I did this. Actually, I'm going to pause the recording. And go see if I can figure out what I did. Alright, and I'm back. I uh, went and looked. And let's break all of this out. So what I did is I took the Crimson uh, Hyphae and the Calcite and then here in the absolute middle let's place a Calcite and then let's bring all of this up so we get to the top now let's grab our Calcite and bring that down like so. I wish I still had this pulled up. One second. Oops. All right, so I have a calcite and then I can't remember if I did red or blue there. And then let's go one, two, three. And then I had a stair upside down there so that means the calcite would be down by three below this stair and then let's go in and alternate between the crimson and the calcite like so Alright, 
eight. And then I took, I don't have it. The Crimson Trap Door. And I did three of those. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I did the Warp Stair. You can do either or. So let's do some of that. And then let's grab the Warped Fence. And do that there. And then, of course, grab our lantern and put that there. And that seems to be what I did for this section. I am still going to take this polished deep slate slab and run that all the way across to help kind of like ease this transition. And then the other thing you could do if you wanted is put in a little flower box. So let's grab some dirt and our spruce trap door and go in here like so. And you can have a little flower box. Let me go ahead and grab the bunny, the window pane. Let's grab a window pane and fill this in. There you have it. Hey there, future teacup here. I realized I didn't fill in these little bits. So let's just grab our polished and do a simple quick fill in if I can get in there like so. So such a small area, you don't really have to do much in the way of decoration. And there you have it! We now have the roof and in detail bits all put in I did not put glass in here. And yeah, we got this all put together. It is looking pretty good so far. And then I, of course, will be back in part 3 to show you how I did the interior. You will notice I've done a little bit of landscaping since I last recorded and just put up some lanterns. And one pro strat that you can do now is these little, what are they called, moss carpets are fantastic for hiding light underneath. And then you can always just sprinkle some around to kind of add just a little something something to your landscape and if you'll notice in here i have that in these little areas here just to add some extra lighting to the area just to help prevent some mob spawnage going on and that's all i've got for you i hope you're enjoying this build and i will be back in part three Please like and subscribe. I post Minecraft videos every week, Wednesday through Friday. And that's all I've got for you. Have a wonderful day. Until next time, goodbye.